Sports to the Bone family, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, welcome back. A blessed night to you all, man. Welcome back, my viewers and subscribers. Alright, so we have a couple of things to talk about in this one, my peeps. Uh, we're going to be talking about our senior pace bowler, Kemar Roach. Now, he did an interview and he had a, quite a few interesting things to say as it relates to our bowlers, our, our team in general, and, you know, players... Uh, his advice as it relates to whether or not players should go to England to play some county cricket. Very interesting things he had to say. So we're going to touch, a, touch base on that. Plus we're going to be talking about the top 10. The top uh, ICC top 10 uh, as it relates to bowling, right? Test bowlers. Uh, Kemar Roach has once again uh, gained a couple of places and is once again in the top 10. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So we're going to take a look at that. Plus, we're going to talk about the top five all-rounders, current um, all-rounders in Test cricket. All right. So just stick with us until the end. Make sure you subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, my peeps. And don't worry yourself, you know, my, my viewers and subscribers. You're going to get my starting eleven before the game tomorrow morning. So we're just squeezing in this Kemar Roach interview, and then we will deal with the next one. All right. So yeah, as I said, Roach was speaking, and you know. He was basically talking, talking mostly about the bowlers that we are producing in the Caribbean right now, you know. And he's saying it's 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 good to see that we have a good group of um, bowlers coming through, you know. Quite a few guys putting in the work, and all they need to do is just to continue to work or continue to improve upon their skills, make sure that um, they are doing the right thing as it relates to their routine, you know, keeping their body in shape and things like that and when we look at it there are quite a few guys that are in and around the test team right now a couple guys outside that are actually knocking you know we look we see Jaden Seals um there Alzari Joseph is there Anderson Philip coming through you know we we, we have people like Jason Hola we have Shemar Hola Preston McSween we have Nile Smith you know we have um Kyle Mears who is in the team now uh, quite quite a few other guys that you know they, they might not be in the test squad now but you know they are definitely putting their hands up you know if uh, a, if a one or two bowlers in the test squad slip right now we have a couple of guys that we can maybe put in to replace them not saying that we're going to see the same caliber right away you know but at least we have a good group of guys that you know that are coming through i would mind if we if we if we were seeing a good group of batsmen coming through just like that but i can agree with kemar which we have a solid um group of bowlers coming through and thing you know and you know i i, I agree as as he said you know these guys just need to continue to put in the work and you know the opportunity will definitely um impress um the opportunity will definitely present itself he was also asked about um, our, our spinner Gudikish Moti who actually got his debut in the first test match. As I said, he was speaking about bowling in general, but the question, the first uh, question was surrounded, um, had, was actually targeting pace bowlers. So somebody had a follow-up question as it relates to how impressed he was uh, with, with Goody Kishmoti. You know, according to him, he met Goody Kishmoti years ago, you know, when he was actually um, in and around, in and around a game. I guess they were playing a Cena game and Moti was there, met him and you know said that he's very impressed with his development playing for Guyana and the fact that he's, he, he has now gotten a chance to to be a part of the West Indies team said that he did his job came out you know saying that he thought Moti did his job in the first test match you know a couple of nerves was here and there you know but he's definitely impressed with him and is looking forward to him you know developing and going on to have an excellent career for West Indies and I too agree my viewers he didn't take any wicket he wasn't threatening or anything like that but you know he bowled a good a okay line and length um, as we know the, the St. Lucia pitch might not offer a lot of spin but you know let, let us see if they're going to play him again um, coach Phil Simon seemed to have been happy with him also so you know let us see what what, what they are going to what they are going to be um, doing as it relates to that he also was talking about St. Lucia pitch you know Kemaro is saying that it's a pitch that is uh, tradition, traditionally known to see him around to offer a lot to the Pacers and he's definitely looking forward to going there and bowling on that pitch trying to see if he can get over that 250 mark as it relates to wickets you know uh, we know he's joined um, I think he is, 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 is there with the, with the great uh, Michael holding at 200 and holding at 249 so um, hopefully he will be able to get past him 
and you know continue to push on and i mean if he has two three years remaining in him you know one would hope that he's able to get over that 300 mark so um you know it was good it, it was good my viewers if you haven't heard that interview it's up on the west indies website you can definitely go and take a look at um at, at and, and listen to what uh, the, the man had to say now he was also asked about county cricket we know he had a spell over there in the county cricket recently and you know he's saying that he would advise all the youngsters coming up once they have the opportunity to go and play some country cricket once they you know they get the opportunity you know he said uh it's 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 you know it's 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 a whole lot in terms of uh adjusting getting the body uh getting the body uh into the right shape making sure that you are you are you are you are you know protecting your body because you know it's a little bit colder there so the muscles going to react a little bit different but you know in terms of the quality according to Kemar Roach you know bowling to those guys they are working on your line and length working on your release point um, in different conditions is definitely good for your game and I, I agree I agree because you know a lot of our bowlers play the regional championship here and they dominate but when, you, when it's time for them to go um, to the international scene whether whether they are touring or are, are they playing in the Caribbean you know going up against other quality batsmen that are quality you know um they, they definitely find it a little bit more difficult you understand the same thing can be said for the for the for the for the um the batsmen both batsmen and bowlers so you know Kemaru just letting the, the, the youngsters know that if they get the opportunity to play some county cricket it's definitely um he would advise it you know some of these players once they're off you know um they, they, they are just looking to play some probably some t20 some t10 and see 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 60 what's that what they call it 60 is coming around now this this form of cricket so you know um i i definitely agree with 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 Kemar roach if they are if they are able to go and play some county cricket you know it's it's good it's good to um to get different perspective as it relates to coaches you know um you are working with your own coach in the caribbean yes but you know um going over there to play some county cricket in different condition listening to what a, a different coach has to say would be definitely good so um you know i i agree with roach where 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 that is concerned all right so uh at the beginning i said to you guys that i was going to talk a little bit about the the the, the test bowling the test bowling rankings right the icc test bowlers um rankings um the top 10 and kimar roach has broken into the top 10 once again seems as if he's unable to get past um number eight i think that the, the, when he broke into the top 10 before he was rank eight and he's now rank eight again so let's just go through the list quickly so trent bolt neil wagner they occupy number 10 and nine so uh that is for the new zealand right uh kemar roach our guy occupies number eight then we have anderson uh kyle jamison another new zealand player we have rabada afridi at four boomer at three we have ashwin at two and pat cummins mr um consistent at number one once again right so just go through that list once again from 10 to 1 we have trent bolt neil wagner kemar roach at eight we have um uh james anderson uh jameson kyle jameson we have rabada afridi boomer ashwin and pat cummins holding out the number one now we're going to take a look at the all-rounders in this uh video also hopefully another video i'll be able to take a look at the 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 um the batsman i think joe root has overtaken uh marnus lamashane if i'm not mistaken and he's now ranked number one but we're going to touch the batsman another time so the all-rounders the top rank all-rounders our boy jason hola you know we haven't seen him in in test cricket you know in in a little time he has moved all the way down to number four yes man so i'm going to talk about the top five uh ben stokes who is slowly but surely getting back into test cricket is ranked at five uh jason hola is at number four ashwin is at number three shakib al Hassan is at number two and at number one we have ravinja jadeja so those are the guys holding out the top five for um for the for the for the for the uh the, the all-rounders in test cricket all right so there you have it my wonderful sports of the bone family just wanted to give you guys this one hope you all have a peaceful and a wonderful night rest and make sure you look out for my for my from another video early early tomorrow morning we'll be giving you guys my um my my 11 going into the second test match all right my peeps bless i'm out